So I'm going to show you how our guestbook widget works. So the cool thing about this widget is that no database is required and it's based on CSV files that any PHP compatible server should be able to read and write. So this is our, our widget, our guestbook widget, and this is how it looks, and this is our demo. And the thing is that um, when you open the file, I'm going to open the the file here. So once you you open the zip, this is what you're going to find. Okay, you're going to find the molib, a PHP file, and README. Just a few recommendations of guestbook PHP. The you'll find all everything that I'm going to say now. You'll find this in in the instructions. The instructions are here in the README TXT. So follow them carefully, okay? Because there's a few recommendations there that um, we do recommend you to follow. And I've already opened the files here. Okay, this is the README TXT. So this is the PHP, guestbook PHP. So you should change these values for security reasons, um, especially the username and the password here to access your control panel. So right now, this username and password is to access our control panel from the demo, but you should, you should change it, okay? Mm, also, uh, you should change the name of this CSV file too, okay? For the same, for same things, for security reasons. And there's another thing you should change is the guest book name. So, for example, if you want to access your your um, your control panel from from your site, it would be like uh, your site, your domain dot com slash assets slash guestbook php. But for example, if you change here the name guestbook for um, just imagine like my comments, and you t you type here my comments. Then to access your control panel, it will be your site.com slash assets slash my comments dot php. Okay. So if you change this my comments here, the name of the page, then you should also change the name here to the PHP file. All right. That will be important. So what we have to do is that once you've you've edited all of this, what you have to do is save it and then you should, I'm going to open the news here, I've already dragged the widget here, and so once you've done all that editing, what you have to do is open the options here, and then you should attach, first thing you should do is attach that PHP file here, okay, you just click on this and then attach it. Mm, the rest of the options that we have here in our guest book, they're all styling options, so you can change the default labels, name, email, message, submit, and I mean, here it, it all looks the same, but it's just for in case like if you're Italian, you want it in Italian language. So you can change all the labels here. And here you can choose shadows, separated colors, title size, fonts, the button color. Um, you can change all this and, for example, the guest message settings. Um, you can choose among four pagination effects. Right now it's climb. Um, you can choose the elements per page if you want four, you want two. That's for the pagination and you know the background opacity, the guestbook fonts. You can so these are all the styling options, okay? You know, you can do whatever you want here. So once we attach the guestbook PHP, what's going to happen is we are going to see sample comments. So now it's easier for you to, to customize all the widgets. So let's go, for example, to elements per page. Now there are four elements per page, but you can bring it up or bring it down. You can choose the, the icon color. I'm going to change it to blue, for example. And author color. author comment color and so on you can choose even the pagination effect you have you have you can choose among four of them and play with the opacity and the background colors if you want to change the icon you have to go to text labels options and here you have the font awesome icon so you can visit their website and choose the icon that you want so after you're done with this the only thing you have to do is export it to HTML and upload it to your PHP compatible server
Now I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to access the back end, okay, you have to access your control panel. And I'm going to type my username and password. Okay, I'm going to click, I'm not going to say the password, so this is the back end. So here we have all our, our the comments, the username, the email, and the message. So for example, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to type a message here. So let's say responsive muse and we need an email too. Although these two won't be visible. Well the name will and the comment in the message too. So hi everyone. Welcome to our guest book. So once you click submit well, I'm going to refresh this page now. So here it is. This about this is the effect that I, I was talking about before, the climb effect. So this is responsive muse. Oops, I haven't edited it. So this is I'm going to refresh the back end too, and this will appear here. So as you can see, I've misspelled responsive, so I can actually edit it here. I'm just going to click on here, and now I can do anything responsive muse and you can actually delete the comment now I'm going to save it so if I refresh this it should be corrected exactly and you can actually you know if I want to delete it you can delete this comment you can download everything here in a CSV file or you can log out so okay this is it thank you very much for watching